Welcome back to my draft only rebuild. So I asked you guys last episode who I should take and if I should change my playbook. And everybody seemed to want me to take Nick Meadows left end, add him to the team, hidden development. So who was it? Popstar said he thought Meadows was going to be normal development. He is wrong. 85 strength, 88 acceleration, 86 agility. Seems like a beast. And then with the 20th overall pick, we're going to go strong safety. John Trailer. We know so much about him. I think he's going to be a great player. Hidden development, perfect. He has 95 acceleration, 86 agility, 89 change of direction, 90 jumping, 86 speed. Now we're at the part where it's just going to be a lot of shots in the dark. So let's go right outside linebacker Cole Bordellian. Bordellian? I don't know how to say that name. Add him to the team. Normal development is fine. Seems pretty good, I would say. A finesse, B pursuit. I'll take it. In the third round, we're going to take another offensive lineman, right tackle Calvin Ware. I know we have a great offensive lineman right in our offensive line, I should say right now, but hidden development, awesome, 88 strength. In the fourth round, we're going to go tight end Daryl Baldwin. Normal development's fine, but 85 speed, 86 acceleration. Seems pretty good for a fourth round pick. We have two fourth round picks. I'm going to take another offensive lineman because he looks good. Byron Gibson. Normal development, 88 strength, C run block power, D run block's not good, but I'll take that B impact block. I've been seeing Steve Mumphrey on the board every single pick. His top fits Raiders and Raiders. We're going to add him to our team. Normal development, 92 acceleration and agility, 88 speed. There's just so many offensive linemen and receivers up here. I'm going to go Josh Lane just because we share the same name. Normal development, 87 speed, eh, not great. This Martinez guy is so awful, I can guarantee that. Like, he's so bad. I don't know why he's a second or third round talent. So, you know what I want to do? I want to take a shot at a quarterback. Let's get Greg Osborne, Ozzy's son. Add him to the team. I don't know if he's going to be good. B, medium accuracy is not bad. Give us some good overall. 75 for Meadows. Very low to what I expected, 76 for Trailer, 69 for Bedolian, and I know I'm saying that wrong. Not a great draft. So for our playbooks, we're going Kansas City on offense, Baltimore on defense. If you know a better alignment of this, I guess the best way to put it with the offensive playbook, defensive playbook, and the schemes, please let me know it in the comments below. Let's find the best one and just exploit it because this game's awful, and we all know it's awful. So we will be an 82 overall heading into the year. We are going to have to pay a bunch of players after this year. We're going to have plenty of money, though, because it is, you know, all rookies. It is the pick players only rebuild, as you can see up in the top right. But we're looking fantastic on offense. On defense, it is a work in progress. I'll give you that. But I'm hoping Meadows could step up. Trailer could step up. We still have Thomas. We still have Harrell, Bridges. I think we're good. So at the midseason mark, we are in three and four. So that gives us the eighth overall pick. In a few weeks, we are going to have to pick our super focused players. So I want to get a good idea of who we're going to be aiming to get. They're saying Chad Porter. There's Jerome Lane. I do like that. There's also Carlos Santos. Nothing like crazy good quarterback for the Jets, quarterback for the football team. We are fine by that. We could maybe go for Zach Ringer, the middle linebacker. I wouldn't mind checking him out. So at week 11, we are 6-4. and four. We're in second place. We definitely could make the playoffs. So... That is going to make this a little different. I still want to put Zach Ringer up here, middle linebacker. We need middle linebacker big time. I do want to put Lane up there, well, just because of the last name. But the last guy, we're going to go a little bit further down the list, just in case we make the playoffs. I'm thinking maybe one of these corners. Maybe we go Tyrone Smith, even though it says round one to two. But we know 65% of them. Let's add him to it. Let's confirm. Let's go to the playoffs. So as I expected... Didn't make the playoffs, so we're in 8-9. and nine. So we won two more games after Week 11. Texans went 12-5. and five. Talk about unbelievable, even though it's, what, six years in the future. 11-6 and six for the Colts, 2-15 and 15 for the Tennessee Titans. This is what I love. With the new playbook, Chris Hackett, 5,000 yards, 37 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. Fantastic. I do hate, absolutely hate, how it's so dependent on playbook and scheme. I guess it's kind of like that in real life, but not to this degree. And I think you guys would agree with that. Running backs. Weaver, 886, 9 touchdowns. Receiver, Thorne, not bad. 1,300 yards with 11 touchdowns. Baldwin, the rookie. 
1,100 yards, 97 catches, 12 touchdowns. Definitely going to go up to star development, I would assume. I'm going to go definitely. Cummings, 1,000 with six. Shields, 930 with four. It's just because of the playbook. Gibson, 124 tackles. Love it. Guess we don't really need a number one middle linebacker. Six and a half sacks for Harrell, four for Bridges, only four for Meadows. That's pretty disappointing. Interceptions, two for Perkins, one for Hamilton, one for Trailer, who did have 98 tackles, and Meadows had 20, but he's a defensive end, so that does make sense. Any defensive touchdowns we could talk about? Nope. We're 13th in offensive yards, 8th in defensive yards, and we went 8-9. and nine. I get the Texans 18th in points scored. That's not great. I get the Texans and the Colts had better records, but I, I, I don't agree. I don't agree. Maybe we lit up Tennessee twice, maybe like big time and inflated our stats. I doubt it, but it's definitely a possibility. Dak Prescott with the MVP. James Robinson at number four. Did not think I'd see that. Rick Porter, I remember him. Coach of the year, Nick Sirianni. Sirianni for, uh, sorry, I said that wrong. Uh, we're up there at seven, eight and nine. Okay. I don't get it, but I'll take it. Offensive player of the year. We have Hackett at seven. Love it. Defensive player. Nothing. Offensive rookie. I mean, Baldwin's going to take it home. That's easy. We also have Josh Lane, number nine. I like that a lot. Defensive rookie is Meadows, and Trailer is at five. We did have the three hidden developments, the tackle, the end, and the safety. I believe it was where, so we have star development. That's good. Hackett's 97. Weaver's 96. Very early on in their deals. Baldwin's up to a 75. Meadow star, trailer star, both 79 overall. But yeah, I want to work middle linebacker, defensive tackle, free safety. I was having a good time playing this game. I don't play it all the time anymore like I used to. So when I do hop on the game, I'm looking to have some fun. But I have a feeling, and you can see it right up there, the Broncos, who have Rick Porter, Won the Super Bowl, beating the 49ers 38-22. Let's give him that MVP. Of course we do. So Mock Draft 3 has us with the 16th overall pick. I absolutely hate that. Now Tyrone Smith, still a possibility. B catching man, A press, C zone. What did it say about a scouting? Maintains poise, a catch point, great. Motor is always running hot. I'll take that. Often looks to rip the ball away, works for me. Typically avoids getting flagged. Seems fantastic. Our great to elite acceleration, jumping, good to great speed. I mean, this might be our guy right now. The only other option in my mind is trading up for Zach Ringer. We know 70% of them. Not a top fit for us. That's fine. B block shed, B tackle, great player notes, great to elite acceleration, agility, change of direction, and strength. How bad would it be? To make a major move like that. To trade up to number five. To get him in a linebacker. Like that's really. Really bad. But if he could fall to six, seven, eight. I wouldn't mind it. So we have to bring back Terrell Thomas. Dom Thorpe. Thornton. Perkins. Probably not Bush. Gibson. I guess I'll bring back yet an all right year. We don't need him. The punter will bring back. Now this is what I mean. That we're really not going to have to worry about anything. I imagine we have like 140 million. Yeah. Exactly 140 million. After. Paying Thomas. So I did bring back the punter. That was a guarantee. I brought back Gibson. I ended up bringing back Bush just in case we can't find a free safety. Perkins, Thornton, Thorpe. But Thomas wants the big timer. So about that, have fun making $20 million a year. Wouldn't be me. So I told you who I have in mind. I want to go pick by pick just in case we can get to 7, 8, 9, 10, and then we'll take Ringer. I don't think that's going to happen if we're being fair. Paul Slater to Tennessee. They went 2-15. and 15. Makes perfect sense. Quarterback to Atlanta. Of course, this game makes no sense with the quarterback logic. Quarterback. Oh, Denario Spidell. Interesting name. The Saints are going to take Gatewood. Now, this is where Ringer is projected to go. Oh. Okay. Now, I imagine the Steelers are not going to take him. Are we going to get lucky for once? No. No, we are not. Now, Tyrone Smith is still there. But I wonder if we could trade back and still get him. I'm going to leave that up to you guys because he seems fantastic. We know that. But I do want to look at a few more players. The trade back offers. Carlos Santos is up there. He was projected, I think, number 11 when we looked at Mock Draft 2, if I remember correctly. A Pursuit seems pretty good. Elite Acceleration is good. Everything else, not so much. 
And really, all we need is defensive players. We're not going to look at these offensive linemen. We can look at Morris Boone. C block shed. Always looks for a massive hit. I don't love that. Struggles to find the ball in the air. That's not good. Often looks to rip the ball. I thought that it said often looks to trip the runners. I was like, what? Why is that a thing? Ugh, I, agility's poor. I mean, that's just off the table right away. Get him out of my sight. I think the only guy that makes sense for us right now is the corner. Maybe we look at McPherson. Maybe. A tackle, C finesse. Ooh, first in the 40 and the bench reps. Okay, so we're looking at McPherson. We're looking at, why did I blank on his name already? I should know his name. Tyrone Smith. How would I forget that name? That's really bad. So let's look at those two. Let's look at the trade back options. One, I, I, first off, we have to see, is there going to be two ones? And I don't think there's going to be a pick. Oh, oh, maybe we do that. Maybe we trade back with the 49ers, get another pick. Maybe Smith is still there since he's a first, a second round guy. We could trade back and then trade back up with like our second, something along those lines. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. I appreciate you guys supporting my channel. Going to make some changes very, very soon on the channel. You already saw a few newer videos I've been putting up. I hope you guys enjoy that as well. But hit that like button if you could. Hit that subscribe button if you could. And I'll see you next time.